Hi everybody, welcome back to Andy Gets Gas. Um, I noticed in my previous videos that my steering wheel kept getting in the way, so I actually figured out that my phone holder could twist and do horizontal filming. Um, is it better? Let's find out. Um, so, Andy Gets Gas. I, Andy, go to gas stations, eat hot rack food, and review it. Uh, so you don't have to waste your time or money on subpar gas station food um, To drink I got the holiday brand. Oh, yeah, I'm at a holiday right now off of uh, 81 and Wilshire Boulevard um, Got the holiday brand grape juice Wash things down. I think I'm getting a little a little sick. I feel a little congested little uh, tickle at the back of my throat tasty grape juice. Uh, today I got a couple of things. Um, let me dig through here. Um, I've gotten a couple suggestions from people saying I should show more of the food, spend more time on the individual ingredients, let you, you know, hold it up here so you can see it better. Um, first thing I got today, I haven't seen this before, um, it's the holiday fried taco, um, seasoned ground beef, cheddar cheese, pepper jack cheese, and onions in a lightly fried corn flour taco shell. Um, it's an open bag with a tray in it. I assume they do that so it doesn't get too soggy. Uh, this is $2.39. Uh, it's part of the two for four deal. Um... But yeah, um, it looks like a like an empanada or a pasty, um, kind of like a hot pocket. Um, it's not very, it's not very crispy, but it's a little crispy. I can smell that taco seasoning. I'm actually gonna kill the engine. It is cold, but it's not that cold in the car right now. Um, so what I'll, I'm planning to do with this is I'll take a bite and then I'll kind of peel it open and let you all see. I like the little crimping around the edges. That's a nice attention to detail. Um, some of the meat, it's not spilling out, but it's close to little cracks here and there. Um, not a big deal. I should have got some salsa with this. I don't know why I didn't. It's very full. Um, it's seasoned. Um, the corn tortilla is pretty nice. Um, it's ooey gooey. It's just kind of pushing out. Um, it's that standard. Um, gringo taco meat oh i took a bite and it's already splitting open um i just took a piece off the shell that's what it looks like on the inside it's pretty tasty actually I don't see the onions. I don't really taste the onions. Trucks just pulled up on either side of me. I hope they're now trying to get a free show. Tortillas are flaky. But it's actually pretty tasty. I didn't have very high hopes. chunks of ground beef but yeah nice and and gooey jeez um the serving temperature is perfect uh, if it was any hotter it would burn your mouth if it was any colder it would congeal um i'm kind of done with that for now uh but oh, fucking weirdos um 
but it's pretty good. Uh, taste, texture, um, if you get the two for four, two bucks for that. It's not unreasonable in my view. Uh, could be a little less spendy, but uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I'd get that again. Definitely. Um, second thing I got is the holiday chuck wagon. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with what a chuck wagon is. Uh, most traditionally, it's ham, bologna, salami, American cheese, and then Swiss cheese, which is just Swiss American. Um, it's on a poppy seed bun, which I really like. Um, again, with the holiday, they got the stickers on the top and the bottom, so you just got to rip open a side. Most these people would finish their fucking weed deal next to me and move on. All right. So, first impressions on this. Um, decent smell. It smells like poppy seeds. There's a lot of full coverage on all of that. Um, I can see the ham is a little bit burnt. I think that's the ham. Might be the bologna. Oh yeah, that's the bologna. All right, let's take this apart if I can. So we got the top bun. American is melted to that. It's steaming. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, it's good steam. Um, a little dealy of ham. There's the bologna. It's a little bit of burnt. I actually like that. Fried bologna is uh, one of life's pleasures. The one thing, the salami. That looks like pretty low quality salami. Um, not a lot of, um, what do you call them? Fat nobules. And then our Swiss American cheese on the bottom bun. Oh, looks pretty decent. Ham, bologna, salami, two kinds of cheese. It's very nice. Um, it's not a lot of meat. That poppy seed bun is like crucial though. If you put this on a Kaiser or a, a hamburger bun, it would not be, it would not be the same. There's a nice cross section for you. Um, yeah, so it says it's made with Black Forest ham, but it's just that one little tiny piece. Um, it's good, though. The salami is low quality. Um, so is the bologna. The ham's all right. But together, they're, um, like, it's gross, but in a good way. Kind of like that hits the spot kind of way. You know it's not good for you. It was pretty tasty. Right amount of cheese to keep everything, you know, sliding down. Um, this is part of the two for four, as well. Um, I think it's two thirty nine. 244 or something like that without uh, if you only get this. Yeah, it's pretty tasty. Um, a few years ago, um, I used to get these in the morning before I went out and disc golfed. Um, it was kind of my, my lucky sandwich. And then I ate too many of them and got burnt out. Um, I just 
just kind of what I do, is overdo things and burn out. But yeah, not bad at all. Um, I probably won't get it again, just because I've had so many of these in my life. But it's not bad. It's not bad at all. It delivers what it promises. Um, the only problem is those poppy seeds kind of get everywhere. And of course, if you have to take a drug test, you're going to test positive for heroin. Because the poppy. But yeah. Both of those were really good. I was especially impressed with that fried taco. Um, it was crispy but soft. The seasoning on the beef, it wasn't... It could use a little more seasoning, um, but it. I wouldn't say it was under-seasoned. Uh, it wasn't bland. It was pretty good. Um, the cheeses were fine. The only problem is I couldn't taste the onions. If you're going to advertise onions on the wrapper, I want to be able to taste or feel those onions in there. Um, yeah, that's about all I got, though. So, any questions, comments, concerns? Throw them in the comments. I'll read and respond to them. Um, any suggestions on where to go next? Um, I know a lot of people have been suggesting breakfast foods lately. Um, typically, I'm not up and out and about uh, early enough to hit those breakfast foods, the breakfast burgers, and bre excuse me, and breakfast pizzas. Um, the few times I've done breakfast foods on this, it was kind of a fluke. Um, but, you know, I'm always keeping my eyes out for what's available, what looks good, um, stuff I haven't tried. Um, yeah. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Have a good day.